Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG problem of the day. Hope you're doing extremely well. So let's say today's problem, sort a K sorted double linked list. Okay, so what the problem is saying is, we'll be given a double linked list with each node being at most K indices away from its correct position. Okay, the problem is to sort the given double linked list. The distance can be assumed in either of the directions, left and right. Okay, so what the problem is trying to say is, for example, if you take this one, right? So it will be at most, some K will be given to us. For example, here, in the input, some k will also be given to us, so for example, 2. So what the problem is saying is, the, the nodes will be at most k distance away from, from the correct position. So what is the correct position of 1? So this one, right? The correct position of 1 is this, right? At the first place. So if you see, it is at most 2 places or k places, k places away. At most k places away from its correct position, right? So here if you see, right, 1 and 2. So 1 is placed at most k position away from its correct position. So if you see 3 as well, right, 3 also, the right position is here. So it is at most 2 distance away, that is k distance away. For example, 5, 5, what, where is 5 placed? The, the correct position of 5 is here. So it is at most 1 position away, right? When I say at most, so it has to be either 0, 1 or 2, right? Right? So at most one position away from its correct position and the element can be either placed in the left side, at most left side or the right side of K, right? So that's what the problem is. Now we have to, using this property, using this property that the, that the node is at most uh, K position away from its right position, we have to sort the given doubly linked list, okay? Now here, if you see, if you see what is the time complexity here, O of N log N, and the space complexity. We have to solve this in O of K. Okay. So at most K elements, we have to store in some, in some data structure. Okay. So that's what the ask is. Now, how can we solve this problem? Okay. So what we'll do is we'll use a priority queue with minimum heap. Okay. With minimum heap property. So what we're going to do is first of all, we are going to place K elements or K plus one. Let's use K plus one elements. For example, what we're going to do. So we are going to iterate through this doubly linked list, right? And we are going to place, we are going to place the uh, 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 in, into the priority queue. So here I placed here, right? So what is min heap priority queue? So whenever you pluck an element from the min heap priority queue, it will give you the minimum element. Okay. So I placed here three, right? Then I went to uh, to this two. I placed two here. Then I went to this one, right? To this one, and I added in the priority queue. Okay, so this is the state of the priority queue. So when I'm showing the priority queue, it's, it does not look like this. Eventually, it, it is going to look like something like this. One, two, and three. Okay, in the priority queue. And when we ask to 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 pull to pull an element or to uh, pop an element from priority queue, so this will be this will be popped out. Okay, this will be popped out. Okay, so but for simple purpose, uh, I, I'm going I'm showing uh, the priority queue this way. Okay. So yes, so we have added three elements that is K plus one elements in the priority queue. Okay, now we'll run a while loop. Okay, now we'll run a while loop until this priority queue is not empty. So we'll, what we are going to do, so we are also going to have a temp head. Okay, a temp head, which is the final head basically, which you're going to return. Okay, which will be a sorted uh, double linked list, which will be the head to the sorted double linked list. Okay, so what we are going to do, to temp head. So we are going to plug, we are going to uh, plug or pop an element from priority queue. Okay, so we'll, we'll say, give, give us an element. So it will return the minimum element. Okay, it will return the minimum element. So here we'll create, we'll have a, okay. Along with this, we'll also have a cur current pointer. Okay, we'll have a current pointer as well. Okay, which will be pointing to this first node. Okay, now here, so once done, so we'll also, now we'll, we'll go to the next element of this, uh, of this, right, of this linked list and we'll add fi another five year, right? We'll add five year. Okay, now what are we going to do? The next step again, we'll ask the priority queue to pop out in the minimum, the next minimum element. Okay. So what we're going to do. So here we'll place an element here. We'll set the previous to the, to the current. Okay. And the current dot next to the, the, the new node, right. And also we'll update this current pointer. Current pointer will be pointing here. Okay. Now again, we'll repeat the same process. We'll add this six to the priority queue. Again, we'll check. Get give us in the, from this priority queue. We are going to ask the priority to priority queue to return the minimum element. So it will return minimum element three. Again, what we are going to do? We are going to set the previous to the current of the new node, right? And the current dot next to the new node, right? And we'll update the current pointer. 
we'll update the current pointer. Then again, we'll go to the next one, right? This time, four will be placed and we'll ask the priority queue to return the minimum element. So it will return four, right? It will return four, right? And then we'll set the previous uh, uh, to the current pointer and current dot next to the new node. And then we'll also update the current. Current, right? And finally, what? Finally, we will now ask the, uh, now here. So this is exhausted. This was the last element of the linked list. Now we, now there are no elements left, right? So we'll simply pluck out an element from priority queue, the minimum element, right? And we'll place it. We'll set the next and previous. We'll update the current, right? We'll update the current pointer. And again, since the, there are no elements left in the original linked list, we'll pluck out an element again and we'll set accordingly, right? And we'll update the current uh, uh, pointer. And finally, we'll say current dot next is null, right? And we'll return this temp head finally. Okay, so this this will be the intuition behind solving the problem. Okay, now I hope you've got the intuition. Now let's go and code. Before going to the code, I'll request you to subscribe to my channel, like the video, as the new subscription itself like uh, uh, motivates me, right? In order to solve the problem and create the videos. Okay, thank you so much. So let's quickly. Now what are you going to do? We'll, let's declare a priority queue. Uh, just give me a minute. I think I have logged out. Here we are going to, we are declaring a or creating a priority queue, right? PQ. Okay. And here will be, we want to create a minimum heap, right? So we are going to say, okay. So a dot data minus b dot data. So we are creating minimum heap based on what? On the, on the node value, right? On the node value. With this, we are saying that sort the elements, basically create a minimum heap or yeah, minimum heap basically. Yeah. So with this we have done. Now what are we going to do? We are going to take a, a i variable as well. And we are going to first add the k plus one elements, right? k plus one elements and head should not be null, right? Okay, now we're going to add the first k plus one elements here. Okay, head. Then we'll say head equal to head dot next. And we'll also increment i, right? So we have, with this, we have added the first k, k plus one elements in the priority queue. Now what we're going to say, while pq is not empty, Okay, while this is not empty, so we'll also create a new head. We'll say new head equal to null, right? We'll also have a curve pointer null. Okay, so we'll, we'll say if first of all new head, if it is null, then if it is null, then new head equal to, we'll say pq dot pool. So this will return the minimum element, right? This will return the minimum element. Okay, in the from the priority queue, and also we'll initialize this current with new head. Okay, so yeah, this is the thing, and we'll say new head dot next next equal to null, and new head dot previous as well equal to null. We'll see. Okay, else if new head was not null, right? So now we'll say current dot next equal to pq dot pool okay turn dot next equal to pq dot pool and uh yeah and also we'll say current dot previous or hold on uh sorry current dot next dot previous current dot next dot previous will be current so what we are doing here is what we are saying here is for example right for example if this is current right current and this is new, uh, this is a new node, right? New node. This is a new node. So what we did, we set current dot next equal to 
new node, right? PQ dot pole. And then we are saying this is current. Current, this is current. Current dot next is this dot previous. Current dot next is this dot previous equal to current, we are saying. Equal to current. So that's what we are saying here. That's what we did here. Okay. And then one more step, current equal to current dot next. We also want to update the current pointer. Now this will be the current. Okay, this will be the current. Okay. Now, once done, we are going to check here. Now, if we want to add the next element, right, in the priority queue. So, we'll check here. If head is not equal to null, then pq dot add. We'll say head. pq dot add head. And then we'll also head equal to head dot next will do, right? So, yeah. So, this is it. And then, once everything is done, we'll say current dot next equal to null. We want to set the null, right? The last, the, the next of the last uh, node, right? The next of the last node, we are saying, Set it as null. And finally, we return new head. I'll show the C++ code as well. So let's compile. Hopefully, it compiles successfully. There's some error. Head equal to some error. Mm, again, node new head. Okay. So my bad. It should be DLL node, right? DLL. Okay. It's working as expected. Let's submit. I hope you've got the solution. Please, please subscribe to my channel. Like the video. The test cases are passed. Thanks for watching. Let's quickly see the C++ code as well. I'll attach both the Java and C++ code uh, in the comment section. Okay. So here. So yeah. So here we are creating the minimum priority queue, right? So here we are having the comparison uh, function, right? And we are saying here, A dot data should be greater than B dot data, okay? So here we are creating the uh, minimum e priority queue. Then we are pushing the first K plus one elements into the priority queue, right? The first K plus one elements in the priority queue. And then we are having this uh, new head and tail pointer, okay? And what we are doing here is, if first time if the new if the new head it is null then pop the element right and uh, send to new head then new head dot previous null pointer and tail equal to new head also assign the new head to the tail and then if new head is not empty then we'll uh, keep uh, we'll add uh, the next element uh, uh, tails next right we'll point tails next to the new element right popped out from the priority queue and then this step I have already explained this right or explained this and then we'll also pop the from the priority queue, we'll check if current is if current is not uh, null, then we are going to push into the priority queue and we'll update the we'll go to, uh, update the current pointer as well. Then we are going to see, I've already explained this tail dot next null pointer, and then we are we'll return the new end. This is it. I'll also attach the code in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Let's compile it once again. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, have a happy, healthy, and a great day. Thank you so much.